The Dean of the School of Business at the University of Cape Coast, Professor John Gachi Gachi, has highlighted some misconceptions surrounding internal auditing during the opening ceremony of an international conference for heads of internal audit departments from Nigerian universities. The conference, hosted by the University of Cape Coast, aimed to foster knowledge sharing on internal and external auditing practices with other universities in Africa, specifically Nigeria. Professor Gachi discussed common misunderstandings about the role of internal auditing within organizations and emphasized its importance in strengthening institutions and organizations. One would mention internal audit or auditors in general. It can with fear because if you do not take time, they can change your position, <laughs> they can ruin your reputation, and they can cause far-reaching uh, policies to be implemented in the organization. So because of that, some believe that auditors uh, are there to find fault. But professionally, auditors are supposed to ensure the implementation of policies, regulations, and, uh, and statutory provisions. That is what they are supposed to do. They provide assurance to the implementation of regulations and policies so that we can enhance uh, the space of accountability, transparency, to ensure value for money for the monies that we are spending because the monies do not belong to us. They belong to uh, the nation. So internal audit in is such an important exercise of assurance in the way the finances and operations of an entity is undertaken. Internal audit, when conducted well and in line with the constitution, relevant statutes and regulations, promote transparent transactions that foster the development of the organization. Internal auditors are considered as employees of the entity and therefore are subject to the direct potential influence of the authorities. Audit, audit, auditor independence, accusation for tools to work within an organization are all under the control of the authorities. So auditor independence, since we are in school, is a hot topic or uh, was a hot topic that was discussed. And today is still an important but difficult topic for some auditors. He also addressed some significance of internal auditors and their role in professional and management in strong growing institutions. Auditors are supposed to be preparing reports directly to uh, the board for implementation. That gives some uh, conduit of freedom for auditors to act professionally and with some protection. Even that, we still have some challenges because the internal auditor has to undergo pr uh, promotion exercises conducted by those that they audit. They have to go through uh, capacity building finance by those they audit. The tools they work with has to be procured by those they audit. And if your report uh, is not watered down, uh, and you can just imagine what you will be going through. That is why I said that internal auditors have to battle with psychological difficulties of their work and ethical dilemma all the time. If they are minded to do the right thing. And the assurance for all of us who auditors audit is that they are helping us to do our work. In fact, they are protecting us uh, along the way. If we abide by the instructions, if we abide by the things that they dislike or they disapprove, we are saving ourselves and we are saving the institution and we are growing the institution. And 
Provost of the College of Humanities and Legal Studies, Professor Kwame Osei Kwaten, emphasized the high expectations placed on internal auditors and urged the participants to always uphold professionalism and ensure proper practices in their work. Internal auditors are watchdogs. They are to ensure that the managers do their work, especially financial management of the organization. They do it and do it well. And then also ensure that the organization functions and functions well, all grows and grows. If internal auditors fail to do their work as expected by them professionally, then it means that the organization cannot grow. The organization will run into bankruptcy. And I don't think that we should allow our institutions to grow into bankruptcy. So much is expected of all internal auditors, no matter the persecution, no matter the difficulties they may encounter. He pointed out that they are in a dilemma, a psychological dilemma. Your boss is the one who is supposed to provide you with all the resources that will make you work and work well. And so if you don't do the work to favor him. He may stifle you with all the requisite resources. Should you say that because of that, you are going to compromise your principles, your professional principles? No. You should ensure that the right thing is done. And if you do the right thing, no matter what, even when uh, the heaven falls on you, you still survive. For TVUCC, I am Anita Delight.